if only you guys could see what you were leaning on right now. You are inside my shoe on my windscreen. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm back in Australia. I'm on the Gold Coast for a week. I'm back from Coachella. It was amazing. I had the best time. Thought I would vlog just a little bit of what I get up to during my week here. It might also just trickle over into a Bali vlog when I get back there in a week because I don't know how much I'm actually going to film here, but I'm going to try. So I've just had my makeup done. I'm doing the rounds. By the way, reason I'm back in Australia for a week is because I had my flights booked back from Coachella into Brisbane Airport. So I was always flying back here. I was going to get the company to change them to Bali, but then I thought, you know what? I'll come home. I was in Bali for like five and a half weeks, I think it was. And then I went to Coachella and now I'm back again in Australia just for a week. I'm getting all my appointments done. I got my extensions moved up. Last week I got my hair color done. I'm going to get my lashes and my brows done. Excited to be home. I fucking miss my boyfriend so much though. Can I just say like it's amazing being home. I had lunch with my mom and hang out with her, like staying with my sister as well. I get to shoot with Kyra today, see my girlfriends tonight. We're going to the tropping and the pad and stuff. So it's really nice that I'm catching up. Don't get me wrong. Very excited to be doing that. I'm actually not in Australia until towards the end of the year for a wedding. So yeah, it's really nice to catch up and see everyone. But I do miss my boyfriend. I feel like we moved to Bali and so much happening with the move and whatever. We tried to have some chill time, which was really, really nice. And we did have some time by ourselves for the first couple of weeks. And we didn't, like, drink. We didn't go out. We didn't really do much. It was literally just us pretty much for the first, like, three weeks. But then we had friends visiting, which was amazing. It was my best friend's birthday. And, yeah, we just had quite a few people over there. So we were so busy, all happening. And then I went to America. That's been so busy on completely different time schedules like literally complete opposite plus I was in a festival you don't get reception in the festival and stuff so yeah we miss each other a lot which is actually really really nice you can just tell that we're very much missing each other I realized I tried to tell you guys it on my story I posted it and like circled it on the plane but I had text written on there but my Instagram's doing this thing and it like doesn't post the text I don't know anyway it's really weird it just does it on my story sometimes but a man called Otto holy shit that is one of the saddest movies that i have ever seen like i'm talking like gut-wrenching i was bawling my eyes out the whole time i was literally devastated there's been some really exciting progress on our villa i'm so excited to see the progress on that one also another one of his villas went up on airbnb recently so yeah i'm excited to stay in it you know get back over there and stay in it my dad is coming today he's gonna be here in like probably like five hours or something so i get to see him this afternoon which is really nice steph's gonna come over to the warehouse and we'll probably just have, have a chill i don't know might have a little drink with him before we head out to our dinner and then tomorrow i'll spend the day with my dad that's the update guys i need to make this phone call but i will chat to you guys very soon <gasps> i'm gonna show you guys the new set excuse the chaos behind me our shelf is usually really clean but this front shelf is like a new extended one and we changed a couple of the shelves behind it over so it's kind of been like the excess shelf for now but anyway i'll show you guys a new set that's launching this is the bella set i'm so excited for this one ever since we launched the quilted set which was like the white comfy set you guys went crazy for it you loved the comfy vibes it sold so well and so quickly and so we had to bring you guys another comfy set here it is so basically the way i explain this shirt and set you know when you're wearing your boyfriend's shirt and you're like holy shit this is so comfortable i wish i could wear it to the shops you can't actually wear this to the shops and it's just as comfy like that's the vibe it's like the appropriate version of your boyfriend's comfies to the shops but in a set because that's cute move that down so you can see it a little bit better so it's this heavyweight thick cotton shirt it is such good quality it's honestly just a really really nice heavyweight material it has the high neckline thick neckline band as well drop shoulder oversized this is an extra small so you can see that it is an oversized type 
vibe. You can definitely size up if you want it to be really oversized, but I love the way that this looks on. Like, it's so comfy. It's a perfect length. It's just, like, it's kind of, like, just below my butt and i'm pretty average ish height i would say for a girl and then the bike shorts really comfy as well they're quite firm they're like a firm bike short so you sort of feel like in if that makes sense like don't know how to describe it i need a hiccup it has the really high thick waistband on the top which is like it does have a bit of give in the top like it's quite loose um and that's the length, kind of a standard bike short length, the perfect length. They're not like too short, your bum's not hanging out, but they're not like that awkward like, is it short, is it long? It's just like the perfect length really. I really, really like this set and I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on it. Perfect to layer as well. You can obviously just wear it as a set like this and you can chuck your jumper over it. You can chuck your puffer over it. Little Birdie told me that our puffers are restocking that's the first time I've said it as well, but both of the colors of the puffers are launching. So our black puffer and our latte. So it was called Onyx and Latte that we launched last year. They sold so well. You guys went crazy about them and they're coming back. You can lay them. Should I go grab one? Let me go try and find one. Woo! These are the puffers. So they have just arrived in the warehouse a couple of days ago the stock for them so they're gonna launch i guess it must be about three weeks from now yeah three weeks from now these guys will be launching i'm so excited you can pair it over the top of this set as well and it's so cute i might show you you can obviously wear it with whatever you want but i just want to show you guys it with this set for argument's sake because this set is launching and it is cute as fuck so you can layer it over like that such a vibe oh my god the 20 cent piece in here this is like our sample one that we've been shooting in Kyra did some shooting in the other day I'm gonna get some shots in today as well so excited it's so comfy it's like such a nice puffy thick puffer and then it has the elasticized wrist as well when I'm wearing a puffer I like the wrist to be quite firm around here like they're not firm but they have elastic around them so they go firm essentially I love that because wind doesn't get up there cold doesn't get up there if it's raining the rain doesn't get up there like you know you're wearing a puffer because it's cold basically and then it has this neckline inside I just want it to be really like sleek and just like no branding or anything but on the inside we have some branding which is fun just on the inner layers it has pockets at the front as well and if you want to make this puffer shorter and more like cinched in you can pull the waist ties and kind of like cinch it up and you can do more of a cropped look you can pull it out a little bit more and it'll be like a little bit longer as well but i love these puffers they're so cute i did we launch the black first or I can't even remember. I think we launched the black first last year and then the latte. We're going to do the restock at the exact same time this year. Um, and yeah, I think it must be about three weeks from now. So probably from when you guys are watching this, it's probably about two weeks away from the launch. And then this set will probably be launched by the time you're watching it, I would say. So I will leave the links in the description box below in case you guys want to go and check it out. Anyway, I'm going to get back to shooting now. shooting here i think for now we're going to go to another little spot get some more shots just a little place around the corner and then come back over but it has been going well I'm gonna insert a photo of kyra wearing this set because it's so cute oh, it's thank so you. <laughs> good in it i'm gonna put a pic thank in you. here um but yeah we're gonna head now it's so warm we have this door open and we're getting a little bit of sun this was the like shooting vibe in here right now it's like 
kind of soft lighting, but also like harsh lighting, and yeah. Just like old times, hey Joel? It is. <laughs> Back in the Macca's drive-through. <laughs> Finish shooting, and that yeah, is what we do. I'm like, is that yeah, camera gonna leave? The building. Also, wait, after I order, I need to check out something. No, I'm not gonna get beer today. Can I please get a quarter pounder meal? Large? Yeah. Can I get a bottled Coke with that one? A frozen Coke? A bottled Coke? Do you have bottles? No, sorry. Can I just pay extra? They don't have bottles in it. Or you don't have bottles of Coke at all? We don't do bottles of Coke. We do, um, we do a syrup. Let's have a normal Coke then, please. Yeah, we've got everything. Um, can I please get a 10 nugget meal? Medium. Large, please. Yeah, Coke for the drink. Uh, Coke Zero, please. Yep, anything else? And two sweet and sour sauces with that one. Do you want anything? Yeah, no, everything. Are you sure? Yeah, I have dinner soon anyway. Drive okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I have dinner soon anyway. She was rushing me. I yeah, know, I was like, Jesus. I'm like, what if I want more? I don't know what I want. Thank you. Just on card, please. Did you change that one? Thanks. Thank you. So, we're finished shooting. Sugar? Just got dad a quarter no, pound sugar. of meal. That's sugar. Thank you. And that's a regular card? Yeah. Thanks. Watch dad, like, not be happy because he, <laughs> he wanted to have it tomorrow. That's why we were trying to get a bottle of Coke so we can just drink it tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Quarter pound of nuggets. Sauce. Yeah. yeah. Good to go. There's an ambulance. What I was going to say to you guys. My fucking nails. <laughs> Honestly, kill me now. It's completely all my fault. When I was in America, I don't know why, but I was just like picking the sides of my nails and I did it on both hands. So if you see me just looking absolutely so feral, please ignore that. I can't bother to sit down and get my nails done. It is what it is. We're moving on from it. <laughs> it gets like that. It gets like that, doesn't it? I just can't be bothered while I'm here. So I'm gonna wait till I get back to Bali. But for now, I'm just gonna have really, really ratchet frail nails. So anyway, ignore that. Come for an afternoon fish with dad. Catch anything? Catch anything? A beer by the looks of things. Hello guys, I have not spoken in this position, in this house, in so long. Again, let's ignore my fucking nails. I, I'm such a mess. I'm the biggest mess right now. I need to wash my hair. My nails are absolutely ruined. So staying at mum's house, or my old family house at the moment for one week, pretty much, I'm here. And then heading back to Bali. It has been so nice to just be here catch up with people and we're going into the warehouse um doing stuff with tiles but i feel like it's going so quickly though i kind of felt like i had more time to do things but anyway i was gonna stay here a little bit longer but then i wigged out <laughs> because i was missing jake and yeah i booked my flight earlier but anyway you guys know i injured my bum just before this trip so i have had a fair bit of time off gym so i'm looking forward to that i'm sitting here now i'm actually going to dinner with my mom so I'm doing some skincare and then I'm probably just gonna put a bit of tinted moisturizer on to be honest and maybe a pair of jeans, I don't know. We're just going to the pub so it's very, very chilled. I have been stocking up on my skincare while I have been here. This is not a new one, but I need to go to balance and I need to get some moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I use in the daytime. Dry skin moisturizer plus HA times five. Been using it for such a long time. And then, you guys just missed me putting it on, but before I did it, I put on my Verso Hydration Serums. This is a niacinamide, like a B. So I put that one on, and then I put this one on, and that's kind of like my day routine that I have. Sometimes I put a bit of oil on in the morning, but that's like only a recent thing. I still can't believe that I use skin oil now like that is so not like me i never have but i've absolutely been loving it. i'm pretty much finished the whole bottle of skin oil now usually just use it at night time but sometimes in the day and then my eye cream this is the balance ageless eye cream how do people do it when they do those things there we go i've been using this one for like i don't know four years it has this little 
this like vibrating feature you can turn it on and it sort of just like pulsates under your eyes it feels really good it's metal so it feels like nice and cold as well when you put it on but yeah i'm just doing this i'm gonna make a protein shake and then i'm just gonna work for the rest of the day i got a little delivery while i've been here because i was out of my like travel protein that i took over to america with me but i just have one pre-workout here and then i just have one collagen here hi baby hello darling how are you hello sweet pea so this is my house guys if you're new around here you definitely wouldn't have seen me videoing or vlogging or anything in here but this is where my mum built in oh god when would it have been probably 2000 and fuck, i don't even know 2013 maybe we moved in here and this is where I lived for all that time until I moved out. So I think like 2019, yeah, 2019 I moved out to Palm Beach. And then I moved out of there in 2021 to Mermaid Beach, in case you wanted to know. Um, See, so I don't live in those places anymore. Make my protein shake. I'm like really making sure, what is with this lighting? It's like sun and then it's not. I'm really making sure I have my protein the whole time while I've been here. But I've been really trying to have as much as I can, especially in like America as well, because I haven't been training. So when I don't train, I feel like I lose my muscle definition so quickly. And I know I like build it back up again when I start, but it just goes so quickly. Like I find it so hard to maintain it. So I'm trying to make sure that I have heaps of protein. I'm still having my pre-workout, I'm having my collagen. I'm just trying to like keep everything else in routine, even though my training is very much not in routine. I'm gonna have the chocolate protein and then I'm gonna put in the collagen as well. I also don't have my clips, like my little NH clips that measure out, because they're in Bali. <laughs> that was way too much collagen, but that's all right. Also gonna put a banana in. I always like to put banana in my smoothies. This one, oh my god, is a little bit on the soft side, but I don't mind at all. When I put it in a smoothie, I'm okay with that. Eating this, not in a smoothie, I would never. I literally would never. I just put some ice in it as well. absolutely delicious so you know i said i got a little stock up this is what i got so i got the good jeans sunday riley lactic acid treatment so i use that at night time that's the bead that i was just using before i used that one in the daytime i got a new bum bum cream and then i got medicaid so this is my multi ceramide night cream which is like a really thick nice hydrating night cream the day cream i use is the balance one i use a fair bit of balance actually but i need to go into the balance shop and get it this was all from actually this was from the skin where i got my facial and then these ones were from mecca and then this here was a pr pack that i got i haven't actually tried it it's the airy day sunscreen apparently it's incredible i mean the packaging's cute and it looks cute on the instagram that's a sleep mask and then these are the two sunscreens i'll definitely report back i love sunscreen i use sunscreen on my face every day in bali so yeah i will definitely report back on those i will also show you my top up from balance when i get it and then i will show you guys my top up of my vitamins also when i go and do that as well hi hello <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Guess who's back in Bali? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to be here. It's sort of hit differently coming this time. Like obviously when we moved over here, it was so exciting and we were starting this new chapter and whatever and it was incredible. But coming back here after holidaying slash back visiting Australia, 
also is just like the most exciting feeling like just being so excited to get back here so excited to see my partner ready to continue like working towards our new life here and everything is just like really exciting so i'm really really happy to be back here i looking a little bit tired but i'm actually not really tired i'm pretty fine i'm putting on some moisturizer and some whoop, putting on some moisturizer and some sunscreen now because we are going surfing today i have surfed like twice in my life the last time being when we were here when was this maybe like april last year or something and honestly i got up and I was really good. Please excuse my nails. I know I keep saying that. I'm literally a mess. Putting some sunscreen on though, of course, because we want to protect our faces. This is the Ultraviolet Supreme Screen. I really like this one. It's like a bit, you'll see when I put it on, it's a little bit like shiny and has a bit of a glow to it, but I feel like it's just really hydrating, you know? So if you don't like a sunscreen that does have a bit of sheen to it and it's probably not the one for you although in about 10 minutes it does sort of go a fair bit more matte and then sometimes if i want a bit of something on i do the mac studio face and body foundation it's just like literally it's not too much like it's quite light and i just rub it on with my hands and it just gives me like a little bit of a tint and a bit of a color you know i probably need a little bit more than i just put on then but i'll go back in so i'm very excited to be back here guys so excited to see the projects like oh my god i'm so excited to see the projects because i haven't been on site for like almost three weeks now like two and a half weeks and a lot changes in two and a half weeks they have had a that was too much now fuck fuck they have had a 10 day long break in Bali. Um, so not as much has been done as you can imagine. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the villas and kind of where they're up to. I'm just having a protein shake. I mean, not a protein shake, but I'm also having a pre-workout before I go. I left the NHX Georgie collab products here in Bali. So Jake has been using this flavor a lot because he's obsessed with it, which is fine because we share, but I haven't had it. So I'm so excited to get back here and have this one and also use this little blitzer because this was back in Bali as well. I'm not actually training this morning, but I have my pre-workout regardless. It's just like the way that I start my day, part of my morning routine, gives me a little caffeine boost and then like a big boost of all important vitamins. I'm gonna have that this morning, get myself ready for the day. I have a little bit of skin tint, I have my sunscreen on. Cheers to that, cheers to the day ahead. Oh, oh my god, I forgot how good this flavor is. <gasps> Guys, I am so excited to be showing you this. Before I went to Australia, Casa Kin, which is the villa that I'm in right now, was almost finished. I literally had about three days before it was done, so I haven't been able to see it until now. I'm back. From Australia, I'm back in Bali, and first things first, I'm coming to check out the villa. It is so much better in real life as well. Like, it is literally just incredible. I'm gonna give you guys a run through of the villa. You would have seen in my last vlog that I sort of showed bits and pieces, but yeah, now it's done and it's available on Airbnb, which is so exciting. So, I will give you guys a run through. I'm downstairs. Firstly, can we just like take a note of the lighting? The lighting is so good in here. It's morning time right now, so you're getting like morning light show you the pool so so beautiful and then it leads straight on to the living this is the living room the furniture in here is so nice it's all custom made as well in bali which is incredible i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it from the camera but let me just like try and go over this way <laughs> it's fucking huge it's so big so this is the living. I'll come back down and show you the kitchen after. But this is the kitchen and living. As you can see, there's a big mirror over that way. Big dining table. The living. And then you come in here to the first bedroom. So there's four bedrooms. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this bedroom because it literally just leads straight onto the pool. Like, 
can you actually do? So this is the bedroom. The beds are so comfy. And then you have the wardrobe. I am so bloody jealous of this wardrobe because as I told you guys, my wardrobe situation right now is really not ideal. Um, and this one's just amazing. Another mirror in here that is plenty of mirrors through the whole house. And then you come back out. Like, wow. And I'll show you up here. I'm gonna show you upstairs in a sec, but there is four bedrooms. So you can see like some of the bedrooms up there. This is the only bedroom that is downstairs. And then you have the bathroom. The bathrooms are so nice. And one thing about places in Bali, a lot of them have outdoor showers and like yeah it used to be kind of cute back in the day but it's really not comfortable bugs get in and it's just not ideal so having a proper functioning bathroom that's like on australian levels is really amazing obviously it's not too bad if he's just staying for a couple of days but if you're staying a little bit longer term or you know you just want to be super comfy or you've got kids or something then it's a must really guys Honestly, it is so, so beautiful. I wanted to show you guys with the curtains closed. The light that comes through is so stunning. The beds are incredible. The artwork, it's just all so perfect. I'm so excited for you guys to be able to stay here. Right, open up here and you have a big balcony. Super big balcony. There is multiple balconies in the villa as well. And then you look back this way, there's lots of cute mirrors. And then you have the, hi. And you have the bathroom. This one has a bath as well. And then a shower, of course. I am obsessed. All right, so that's bedroom number two. And we come back out this way. And we have this bedroom here. I am obsessed with this room because cop the few. Are you joking? So pretty to just look down to that. Again, mirror in this one here, and then another big massive wardrobe. So although this one is a tiny bit smaller, it has this really beautiful view. And then you have another bathroom here. They're all very similar, so I'm not going to bother showing you guys that one. And then this bedroom down the end here. It's actually freezing in here because the aircon is on. The aircons in this place are so good as well. So it gets warm in Bali. So you need a good aircon. That is the balcony here. The back out in to the hallway. I'm going to go back downstairs and show you what I missed. And then the kitchen again kitchen is huge big fridge got your appliances obviously not that many people cook in bali when they're on holidays but they have everything in case you want to or if you're staying here long term then obviously you need a fully functioning kitchen and then this mirror i think i said it before but there is so many mirrors in here which is always nice hi hi boss man hello <laughs> I think I've showed you guys everything now, pretty much. That is it. It is so beautiful. I will leave the link to this place in the description box as well. I said in my last video that I would, and it's available now. So I will chuck that in there for you guys in case you have a trip to Bali or you're planning a trip to Bali or you just want to go in and suss it out. This place is literally fucking incredible. Like, wow. All right, it's going to give you guys a little... Kasasu site check also. So this is the progress that's happened since when I was here a few weeks ago with Tiles and Harley. So we now have some steps. I'm gonna make my way down here. So this is one of the villas. The other house is just here. And then this one is ours here. So this is your driveway access. Yep. We'll be on an incline until the front stairs. Yep. Where you're standing right now is the garage. Garage, yep. So I'm in the garage currently, if you guys can envision that. Um, so you're standing in the garage. This is 
interior stairs. Yep. Uh, obviously, that's front stairs, feature stairs. Yep. So that'll be like you're walking through an enclosed area with a big arch. Yep. Put the front door. Yep. Um, where I'm standing will be a wall, there'll be a wall here. Yep. Uh, this is like a mezzanine platform for the gym. Mm -hmm. the gy there won't be a wall here, that'll be all open. Yep. So the gym will overlook the garage and look out there. Yeah, sorry. Maybe you come up the stairs. All right. Interior stairs? Interior stairs. Yep. External stairs at the front. Yeah, so main staircase, big front door. This will be a wall here. Mm hmm. So, so you're, you're currently a big wall. I'm in a wall. You're a wall. Come up. Yep. Into this area. This will be a foyer. Yep. That's entrance foyer. This is the main foyer. Mm hmm. Come right. Yep. Picture us walking into a room. <laughs> this will be a galley laundry. Yeah. So open entrance, mm -hmm. shelving, storage, yep. laundry, wall there. So through to here. Mm -hmm. This is where the gym will begin. Yep. So there'll be like a big mirror on this wall, mm -hmm. dumbbell rack coming through. <laughs> And this will all be gym area as well. This will be open, open with the garage. Mm -hmm. Open out and looking out that way. It's a bit cloudy today, but. Come back out for the laundry. Come back out. Coming through. To the right ah. will be a cinema room. Cinema. This is actually really big out here. I think we need to do something with it. It's huge. Um, sorry, to the left is the. This area here will be a pump room directly under our pool. Yeah. For maintenance. Isn't that bizarre that that's like high pool? Pool. Up there. Up there. Pool. That's a pool. Um, this will be guest guest bathroom. Uh, sorry, guest bedroom. Yeah. It'll have bathroom, shower, wardrobes. Yeah. And then this corner will be the feature staircase. Yeah. The spiral staircase. Entrance is this side. Mm-hmm. And you'll walk. And then staircase up. Oh. There you go. So that's the rundown of the lower level. Tell us you gonna be alright out there, bro. I don't know. I'm looking out here and they look kinda of big to me. Maybe we went this thing. Yeah. This fun. board. Oh yeah, so I think I'm gonna rent one of those and get out there. A well-earned kalapa. We just surfed and it was so much fun. Success, how many times did I get up? Like, something like that. Five times? No, I didn't say any. Maybe like five times, but some of the waves I'd get up and I'd be going, but then when the break, the wave like fully, I suppose, broke and got like whitewashed, it would like push me off, but I'd be going for a bit and then it'd push me off. But I had a really good one and I went like all the way right into the, um, all the way into the sand basically. How'd you go, sir? That was a weapon. <laughs> no, you did do good. Are you surprised? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you, I'm good at everything. Well, yeah, I kind of was surprised because in October you did get up, but then you reckon you were just trying to make me feel sympathy, better. Sympathy surfing, that was. Sympathy surfing. So we're at Santai Warung, it's called. We're at Belangan. We came here a few months ago and I'm pretty sure I vlogged maybe. And we just had some like breakfast and pancakes and stuff. But yeah, it's in Belangan. If you're learning to surf, it's pretty good down here. It's much easier than a lot of the places around. The waves are still fucking big though gonna finish this video off here guys hope you enjoyed it i didn't actually outro it but i really want to get this video uploaded so that i can start a fresh new bali vlog and now that i am back here we're a bit more settled now and i'm just really really excited to be able to show you guys more of an insight into what it's like living in bali recommendations places we go give you guys villa updates let me know if there's anything specific that you guys want to see from me and i will make sure that that is on the way please excuse my voice i'm actually sick at the moment which is so annoying i love you all i'll see you in my next one